Hey there YouTubers! Today we're going to be making a 30 shot fanned firework mortar rack like this one. So if you're interested in knowing how I did it, stick around. Let's take a look at the main supplies you're going to need to make these racks. So you will need 1x4 lumber, 2x3 lumber, 2x4 lumber, two 18 inch wood clamps, 24 inch wood clamp, a drill, a set of drill bits, 2 inch screws, 3 inch screws, and for your spacer I cut one 2x3 piece of lumber down to being just two inches wide and it's approximately one foot long. These are optional but I like to use hooks to sink into the side of my rack so that I can stake my racks down. And you will need some sort of a saw. So a quick lumber count for you guys. In order to make a set of three 30 shot racks, whether they be fanned or straight, you will need at least the following in your 1x4 lumber, you will need 12 8 foot lengths. In your 2x3 lumber, you will need at least 5 8 foot lengths. And in your 2x4 lumber, you will need 2 to 3 8 foot lengths, depending on how wide you want your angles to be on your fan. I try to keep mine a little more shallow, I don't like to have a huge extreme angle. And this pile here shows all of the scrap lumber that I ended up with. Obviously you end up with a lot of scrap on the 1x4. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to make these 10 shot mortar rack modules. Now there's already great videos out there. There's been one done by Joel Robinson. Uh, he shows you how to make these. So I'm just going to quickly go over this real fast. So I have here the main frame of the 10 shot mortar rack. This is the 2x3 wood. This is without the 1x4 sides on it. The base is 24 inches long. The sides of the 2x3 lumber are 12 inches long. Once you have those pieces cut, I just pre-drilled two holes and I sink two 3 inch screws in to build the frame like this. The 1x4 lumber you will need to cut into lengths of 27 inches. Once you have your 1x4 lumber cut, you'll need four 27 inch sections. You then place one piece of 1x4 lumber on the bottom, like so. The other one goes onto the top, like so. I then pre drill two holes on either side of the top, here and here. I do one in the bottom here on the side, one on the opposite side, and then I put three screws along the bottom. After you completed that work, this is what the rack will look like. Obviously you want to do that to both sides so that you have a completed module. And all of these screws are of the two inch length. So that's all there is to building these 10 shot modules. As you can see, I've already completed quite a bit of work here in the corner, so I'm going to go ahead and keep chugging along until I am out of lumber. Now that we've finished making our 10 shot modules, we're ready to start putting our fan rack together. As you can see, I have the 2 inch wide piece of 2x3 that was left over uh, scrap wood from the plank uh, lengths that I couldn't use to build any more racks with. So I have two in here. You want to make sure that this is squeezed together tightly so you want to push the bottoms in as tight as you can like this. Once you've done it on one side, go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. Now that we have our fan spacers in, we can go ahead and take our 18 inch wood clamps and you want to kind of clamp the bottom together now. Before you do this, go ahead and make sure everything is flush and square. Make sure that all of these are even 
going the width wise as well. Just kind of want to loosely put them on there for now just to hold it together. And once you have both on, you can kind of start to squeeze them down. And that feels pretty good there. Next, I got to get the top. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my 24 inch wood clamp and I'm going to put it across the top. Again, double check that everything appears to be flush and as, a, as even as you can get it. Once you have your clamps on, go ahead and double check, make sure everything's straight. When I tightened mine down, the center one started to lean in the other direction here. So I just unclamped everything and then reclamped together. Obviously you want your center one to be straight up and the ones on the side are going to be pointing outwards. Now that you got everything all clamped together, just go ahead and take a measurement. You want to go widest point to widest point on the top, which mine is right around 17 and a half inches. So a 17 inch piece of uh, two by four across the top should be plenty for me. And along the bottom, again, widest point to widest point. Mine's about 13 and a half inches, so that's the wood I'm going to cut. Now that I've got my two by fours cut, I just go ahead and put one on the top or on the bottom. Obviously, your bigger one goes on the top, smaller goes on the bottom. Take two screws, stick them in through the two by fours, and go into the two by three wood that makes up the frame that holds the tubes. So obviously, you want to go ahead and pre-drill before you do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Usually I start off with the bottom just because I tend to find the bottoms a little easier to start with. Now that you're done securing your 2x4s, you can go ahead and remove all four of your wood clamps as well as the spacers that you use to make the fan shape. Now when I scared these 2x4s, I used my 3 inch screws. On rare occasions, when you sink the screw in, the tip of the screw actually might start to come out into the actual area where your tubes are going to be at. If that's the case, just go ahead and take one of your 3 inch screws out and then just sink in a 2 inch screw, but instead of going flush, just kind of sink the screw in a little bit deeper into the 2x4 and that will solve that problem. The last step in the process is to take these hooks and sink them into the side of your 2x4 on the base of the rack. Now when I sink these eye hooks in, I go ahead and I put masking tape on my bit because I only need to go as deep as the threads are. And there it is guys, one 30 shot fanned mortar rack for consumer fireworks. This is made to accept DR11 tubes, or if you modify Excalibur tubes, you can go ahead and put those in here as well. If by chance you do not want to make a fanned mortar rack, you can easily make a straight shot 30 shot mortar rack using the same exact techniques. All you would have to do differently is to remove the spacers that would be placed in between the, the modules. By doing that, you just clamp the wood together and then you'll have 30 straight shots. And here it is, guys. I have built four 30-shot straight mortar racks. 
and I built three 30 shot fanned mortar racks. I hope you learned something. If you feel that you're going to benefit from this or you're going to go ahead and use the information, uh, go ahead and give me a like or subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you.